your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the First Events Doppler 3 Weather Center, downtown Memphis. A quick weather update for you, but also a lot of information about how you can stay safer when it comes to being prepared for disasters, weather or otherwise, across the Mid-South and beyond. This is Disaster Preparedness Month, if you haven't heard about that. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Plus, we'll get you set up for the bus stop as we get into early Monday morning, the last couple of days before we hit autumn, which officially begins on Thursday. That'll be a nice change. Unfortunately, the temperatures are not going to be changing anytime soon. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. If you haven't heard about the program just yet, it's National Preparedness Month, or again, making certain that you know what needs to be done. Setting up and getting ready to go for a disaster is always a good idea making certain that things are ready to go beforehand rather than panicking during or scrambling around trying to find stuff afterwards. Now is the time to, pre to prepare for the situation that may occur, whether it's severe weather or earthquakes in the Mid-South, God forbid, something like a terrorist incident, something like that. That is something that you need to be prepared for, and News Channel 3 helping you do that. You can check out more on my Facebook page or by going to ready.gov to find out more information about that. What do you get ready? Well, things that will help you prepare for anything involving severe weather or with the power being out for a long period of time, communication failures, anything in the way of a power loss from the power grid, anything in the way of a solar flare that can happen, things like that. You need to have things like what is being suggested here from the Office of Emergency Preparedness from the state of Virginia at readyvirginia.gov. Things to keep ready to go for drinking water, food for people, diets, extra pills, batteries, things of that nature, and making sure that you have anything available for your pets. Remember that you're probably not going to be just on your own if it's a major enough disaster such as the New Madrid Fault causing a major earthquake. You could be on your own for one to two weeks before things get going again, and that again is a very rough estimate, so definitely a time to be prepared. Out of town contacts, things of that nature, making certain that you've got your pets microchipped and your tags are ready to go. Also making certain that you have identification and proper papers, things of that nature. Things you might want to do like putting a all your papers, scanning them and putting them on a thumb drive, keeping that into a safe watertight area that may be able to be used in various locations, keeping copies of that handy in and around your person and or necessary in your office or place of worship or your car or any place else that might come in handy should you need to prove that you're you following a major disaster. Things also that you can get ready for in the Mid-South by following the National Weather Service, going to their webpage at weather.gov, clicking on the Mid-South, and then clicking on more information about Skywarn in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. There are going to be holding meetings coming up within the course of the next several weeks. And starting tomorrow on National Talk Like a Pirate Day, there's going to be a first meeting being held in the Boot Hill, Missouri, up around southeast Missouri, Carruthersville, at the Public Library, 707 West 13th Street. That'll be 6 o'clock in the evening tomorrow. That's Monday contact point on that is Charlie Jones. You can email him for more information. What you're looking at on these pages is, again, the contact information, the date and time on the left, location in the middle, point of contact, either emails and names and or phone numbers, so you can call ahead and check about what's going on. These usually last about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many questions are answer, asked and answered, and this is a great opportunity to learn more from the meteorologists and personnel of the National Weather Service, so something to think about there. There'll be plenty of them coming up throughout the course of October, a couple of them in September, again tomorrow, Monday the 19th, the 22nd coming up later on this week at Chickasaw at Houston, Mississippi, the Chickasaw County Houston Fire Department, Linda Griffin, the contact point there. Numerous meetings coming up in October, including DeSoto County, location TBD on that one, and all the way down into late October, we're going to be making our way into the second severe weather season peak of the year. That's coming up this late November through about late December, early January. And if you don't believe that things like that can happen, well, take a look at what the, we had in the way of an ice storm way back in about 94, 96. And not too far beyond that, we had a tornado out around where Houston High School is right now. So something to think about there. Also, if you'd like to volunteer, coming up tomorrow morning, Memphis International is going to be holding a mock disaster drill, and they need walking wounded to practice so that physicians, emergency management personnel, fire, police, sheriff, whoever else 
houses involved with this can be ready to go when the real thing happens. If you'd like to know more about that, you can go to Memphis International's Twitter page, and their call sign is at Fly Memphis. One word, Fly Memphis at Memphis Airport. If you'd like to go ahead and volunteer for this, you can give them a call at 922-8754, but you have to be 18 years or older. I did this a long time ago for my emergency preparedness badge in Boy Scouts, and it's a great opportunity to learn more about emergency disasters and how to get ready for them. Again, that's Fly Memphis at Twitter, and that starts tomorrow morning, Monday, September 19th at 7.30 in the morning. So if you'd like to know more, head to their website for more information there. Heading out to the bus stop in the morning, it's going to be a hot one again tomorrow. Tomorrow, last couple of days of summer are here. Last full day of summer will be Wednesday. Full first day of autumn will be Thursday, and temperatures throughout the rest of the week will be very much on the steamy side going back into the mid-90s, unfortunately. So even though the calendar says anything in the way of autumn-like conditions, it definitely is not going to be feeling that way anytime soon. So to dress the kids cool as they get ready to stand out for the bus stop tomorrow morning. We'll have more details in your complete forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Failing that, if you are tuning in a little bit too late, stay tuned for News Channel 3's Todd Demers. He'll have a complete forecast update bright and early on Monday morning starting at 4.30 a.m. That's a look at your quick forecast and severe weather and emergency preparedness in the Mid-South. Thanks for joining me. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more again coming up on News Channel 3 at 10 and more available at WREG.com slash weather.